I spent three hours yesterday at a car repair shop getting my air conditioning fixed. It seemed to go out after about 15 minutes every day, which is a problem when it's 105 degrees out. So the plan was to go to the Golden Nugget 570 Pot Limit Omaha Championships. On the way there, the air conditioning stopped blowing cold air. So I took the first exit and I have arrived at the Rio just in time for the start of the one o'clock deep stack. It's about 20, 20 minutes away from the car repair place. So after I bust this deep stack, I can just drive of shame right on over there and see if they can fix the problem again. Tilt only intensifies when in it's a hundred degrees out. By the night it's a different world. Go out and find a girl. Come on, come on and dance all night. Despite the heat, it'll be all right. With blinds at 150-300 with a 25 ante, action folds to the button who makes it 1,000 off a 16,000 stack. I'm in the big blind with pocket kings. Raise it up to 4,000 and he puts in the call. The flop comes jack. 10, 3, 2 diamonds. I do have the king of diamonds. I bet 6,000. A bigger bet on this wet flop. Put a lot of his hands in tough spots like queen jack, ace queen, pocket queens. Trying to get all of our money in. He shoves, we call, and he shows pocket aces. The turn is a 9. And the river's a four, and we now have 500 chips. I did not run it up, and I'm out of the Rio daily. I would re-enter, but I can't risk Firestone complete auto care closing on me if I'm too deep in this event. So my priorities are to get my air conditioning in my vehicle fixed today. Again, I tilt way too hard when I'm sweating when I shouldn't have to be. Let's take care of some business. Come back tomorrow strong. I'm a fair guy, but this fucking heat is making me absolutely crazy. The World Series of Poker Monster Stack, 15,000 starting chips. The plan for today is something a little different. I was playing a Pot Limit Omaha tournament last night online, bracelet event, and I realized how, how beneficial it is to play small ball. That's right, limping, check calling, bluff catching, no bluffing really, small pots, slow and steady wins the race that's right we're gonna be open limping today so this should be some pretty unique hand histories who are we gonna to get to do the stand-ins you better watch and see we're gonna bag and tag around 11 p.m that is my intention let's make it happen she looks fine tonight. She is all to me. 
two hours are down and I have not raised pre-flop once. Not once. It's a, it's a small ball strategy. Limp call, lick, limp raise, haven't even done that. Limp call, uh, small ball, check call. With blinds at 5,100, I have ace nine of spades under the gun, so you know we're limping. Person in middle position makes it 225, big blind calls, we call. Flop comes ace, queen, three, all clubs. Checks around. The turn is a six of hearts. Big blind checks. I put out a small bet, just 300. Going for some value with top pair. Deny all the one club equities. Original razor anymore? calls. Big blind folds. The river is a deuce of hearts. Total brick. We want to go for thin value once again. Get called by all of his worst mid pairs with one club, preferably. So we bet just a, a paltry 300. He puts in the call and says, pocket kings, we got them. Pair of aces, nine kickers, good. And we have starting stack after two hours of play. No raising pre-flop. We're trying to get the showdown cheap and survive. It's a monster stack. Let's bag and tag in eight more levels. With blinds at 75, 150, I'm in seat nine. We're 10 handed, but only nine people at the table. Seat 10 sits down and he smells like rotten fish and chips. I know this smell, not gonna get too into detail, but after a few minutes, I pull him aside and say, hey, uh, did you get lucky with the girl before you uh, entered this tournament? He looks befuddled and says, no. I said, oh, I smell a little something on you. He goes, Oh, that's because I didn't shower today. Where do they get these people? I put out a tweet. I'm looking for some Axe deodorant, body spray, whatever you got. I can barely breathe. You know what they say in Karate Kid, man can't breathe, man can't fight. Rule number two of the Quicksilver method. A man can't breathe, he can't fight. But I'm fighting. Blinds are 75, 150. Middle position makes it 350. I'm in the big blind with 8-4 offsuit. The worst 8 high I'm going to defend, I put in the call. The flop comes. 6-5 deuce. We have the double belly. He che I check, he bets 400. I make it 1,200. Could call, but I think it's best to not call out of position with 8 high. The turn is a jack, pretty irrelevant, but I think we have to set up a triple barrel here. We can rep all two pairs, sets, and straights. Maybe even get him to fold an over pair on the river. So we bet 1,800 and he calls. The river is a seven. We make the straight. I was afraid I'd have to barrel it off and punt it off, but we got there. We want to make this bet easy for him to call, but still get max value from his over pairs. So we bet 5,000. He hates his life and puts in the fold, unfortunately, and we take it down. We now have 27,000 on second break, going to 100, 200 with an ante. I'm really sad that I can, um, there's like a real rule that like, they could just like not let me play. Yeah. I didn't know that was true. I mean, it makes sense. But how are they going to know if it's shallow when they come back and they're just lying and saying, that doesn't make sense. Uh, they can smell you. Like I, they can smell you. Yeah. I can even smell myself. Normally, I can't smell yourself. Yeah. It's all right, dude. I'm going to come back. I'm going to be crispy. Crystal clean. I appreciate Very it. Very clean. Yeah, my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah. I wish I would have recorded the audio of when I asked Stinky if he's gonna shower on dinner break. He said he didn't know if I was serious earlier when I commented about his smell, but I told him, oh, I'm dead serious. From there, he was kinda dumbfounded again and said, well, I haven't really showered in three days, so I'm sorry if I stink, but you know, if it tilts you, then that's a good thing. 
minutes and I said no that's a horrible thing aren't you a human being is this how you treat fellow human beings this isn't Nam there are rules Smokey this is not Nam this is bowling there are rules hey. he asked again if I was serious I gave him a stone-cold stare of death and said you got a shower on break bro he says or else what I said well you'll just be disqualified from the tournament all the dealers can attest to how horrible you smell. You're in the 10 seat. He says, oh, okay. Well, it's 50-50 if I shower. I said, no, it's 100% you shower or you'll be disqualified. Four man walked by, I said, floor. This guy just admitted he hasn't showered in three days. He smells horrible and I've been dealing with it for six hours. The floor asks if this is true. Stinky confirms it's true. The four pulls him aside and says, yeah, you got a shower or else you can't play. So kudos to the Rio staff. We're now on 75 minute dinner break. He better come back smelling like a rose or else we're going to have a problem. Let's go to Django. With blinds at 100, 225 ante, action folds to middle position, Asian male, age 25 to 35, conservatively, makes it 500 off a 8K stack. I'm in the cutoff with pocket queens, three bet to 1500. I know my game plan is to play small ball, but I think this guy has it in him to spew it off. Everyone folds back to him and he puts in the call. Flop comes king, five, deuce, rainbow. He checks, I check, planning to pretty much call down any run out that doesn't include an ace. It turns another king, beautiful card, and he leads out 1800. Easiest call of my life. It does put two black kings on the board and I have two red queens, so that does discount all of his suited king-queen combos. We go to a river. The river is the queen of spades, putting the backdoor spade draw out there. He jams all in. We snap call. He has pocket fives. Set over set. We got him. 40,000 on dinner. Stinky should have showered. If not, there's going to be a problem. Let's see what happens.